friends! Today I'm going to tell you one of my very favorite Bible stories. But first let's practice our memory verse. It says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37, and 39. Great job! Now it's time to practice with your grown-up. Look around the room for them, and when you find them, point and say, You're my grown-up! Today, let's practice our verse like we're robots. Can you be a robot? Grown-ups, when you see the verse on the screen, pause the video and practice together. Ready? Go! Great job, friends. This verse comes from God's Word, the Bible, and it tells us to love God and to love others. Remember what the Bible is? It's absolutely true, absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. And today we are going to learn that we show others God's love by putting others first. I'm going to tell you a true story about a girl named Ruth and her mother-in-law, Naomi. Ruth showed Naomi God's love by putting her first. During the Judges era of the Bible, there was a famine in Israel. That means there wasn't enough food for everyone to eat. A man who lived there named Elimelech took his wife Naomi and his sons Malon and Kilion to Moab to find food. While they were there, Malon and Kilion both met women and married them. One married Orpah and one married Ruth. One day Elimelech died and it was sad. A few years later, Kilion and Malon both died too. Everyone was really sad. It left Naomi, Ruth, and Orpah all alone. Naomi was really sad because she was still living in Moab, which wasn't her home. She wanted to go back to Israel. So Ruth, Naomi, and Orpah packed up their things and started walking. It was a really hard trip and a lot of walking. Can you stand up and walk with me? Here we go. When you're walking on a long walk, do your legs start to get tired? Do you want to take a break and get some water? Do you want someone to carry you or pull you in a wagon instead of walking? Whew! You can sit back down now while I tell you the rest of the story. While they were walking toward Israel, Orpah changed her mind. She decided to go back and live with her family in Moab. But Ruth had learned about God's love from Naomi, and Ruth promised to stay with Naomi and follow her. Ruth knew that Naomi was getting older and that she would need help since her husband and sons had both died. Naomi would need someone to take care of her in Israel. Ruth showed Naomi God's love by putting her first. This is a great time for a question. Grown-ups, pause the video when the question comes on the screen and talk about it. Ruth loved Naomi so much that she wanted to put her first. When they got to Israel, they needed to find some food. Instead of asking Naomi to go out and look for something to eat, Ruth said that she would go out and find some food. She went to a nearby field to pick up some grain that had been left by the workers. The field she found was owned by a man named Boaz. Boaz was a man who loved God, and he showed others God's love by putting others first. He asked his workers who the girl gathering grain was. They told him her name was Ruth and that she was putting Naomi first by gathering food. Boaz told his workers to leave extra grain for Ruth to pick up. Eventually, Boaz married Ruth and together they took care of Naomi. Boaz and Ruth are both examples of how we show others God's love by putting others first. There is something extra special about this story. Ruth and Boaz had a baby boy named Obed. And when Obed grew up, he had a baby boy named Jesse. And when Jesse grew up, he had a baby boy named David, as in King David. Do you remember him? He's the one God used to kill Goliath. And David became king of all of Israel. One of David's great, 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 great grandchildren was Jesus. And do you remember the good news of Jesus? Jesus came down to earth to die on the cross to pay for our sins so that anyone who believes in him gets to be saved and they get to be with God forever. It's time for one more question. Grown-ups, when you see it on the screen, pause it until you're ready to move on.
All right, when this video ends, I want you to pray together and ask God to help you show others His love by putting others first. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.